From Billy Bob's on Sunday night, happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. I'm here with the FCA president, Dave Clark. Dave, you guys paid out $96,000 this weekend. Um, you handed out 13 different saddles and a whole bunch of buckles and awards tonight at the banquet. Um, can you tell me a bit about how uh, how this uh, finals went for you guys? Well, you know, Ted, the, the, the finals, uh, 2012 Cowboy Classic finals went absolutely tremendously well. And when you mentioned the $96,000 and the 13 saddles and the buckles, that's due to our uh, our sponsors and uh, and the people that are involved in this sport in uh, the Red Deer area and throughout southern Alberta. It, we're absolutely ecstatic on how these finals went this weekend. Oh, it, I hadn't been to the FCA finals in a little while, and I was surprised. You guys, I, well, I shouldn't say surprised, but I was impressed. It was a great event, ran it off really quickly. It's a, an event you can sell a lot of tickets to, and the people will be really impressed with it. Get, well, you, you know, Ted, you're, you're absolutely right. Like, when we have a shoot boss like Donnie Johansson who looks after the CFR and some of the biggest rodeos in Canada, and he's here doing our show, you know that it's going to be run well, it's going to be run professionally, and, and you know, that, that leads right up to uh, how the Cowboys uh, want to get out and get on and how those um, time event guys leave the chute and, and rope their, their calves and bulldog their steers. Talking about uh, Cowboys in that manner, being ready to go, uh, it's, a, it's making that step, right? You go to the FCA rodeos all year long, and you come to the finals and run by Don Johansson. It's a little bit of a stepping stone towards the pro rodeos. Can you tell me a bit more about that and how that's like rodeo in the FCA? Well, you know what, at the FCA here, what we're really trying to do is, is build Cowboys for the transition into the, the, the next level, which is a professional rodeo Cowboys Association. And so when they do make that transition, it, it's not a... It's not a big step. Uh, they've been uh, attending rodeos that are treated basically like a professional rodeo. And when they leave here, they are professional cowboys, and they act like professional cowboys. And we are very, very proud of each and every one of those guys. One of those guys being Brendan Leo. We just had win this year. I'll tell you what. I've known Brendan for a long, long time. He's, he's a great kid, and he's a great cowboy. And I'll tell you what. We are so proud of him being all around here at FCA. Hopefully for a couple more years yet, eh? I think that, uh, at, at, to be quite honest, I don't know how long he's going to be at our level, but hopefully he will be coming back when he's done at the CPRA level. Absolutely. That's another thing with the FCA. Uh, a lot of guys coming back after uh, after a long career in professional rodeo, after starting here. Yeah, you know, and, and, we're, and we're glad to have them back because once you've been at that level and you can come back down here, you do set an example on, on how these young kids are coming up and, and, and acting, uh, the way they uh, rope, the way they ride their Bronx. They, they know how to get in and get out, and, and that's from some of these guys that have been up there and come back. Absolutely. Can you tell me anything more about uh, what the future looks like for the FCA here? Well, you know, the future uh, at the FCA uh, is very bright. We are, we are tremendously blessed with some of the sponsors we've got. And uh, you know what, Ted? Um, up here in Red Deer right now, uh, it's kind of the catalyst of what we, we do at our finals. And they have, they're getting the town behind us, they're getting the city behind us, they're getting the community behind us, and uh, you, you notice that this, this weekend at, at, at the, the crowds we get. You know, and not only that, but the, our committees, our, our people behind us every, every weekend throughout the summer, from Caroline to Box Springs to Millerville to... Cochrane, we are our crowds this year have been tremendous, and we expect the same next year. Rodeo is strong and thriving in Southern Alberta. Absolutely, and I do agree. I uh, thank you for your time here tonight, Dave, and I uh, look forward to working with you guys for many years to come. Well, thank you, Ted, and, and congratulations on your website. And uh, I, uh, I really want everybody to go everythingcowboy.com. It is a tremendous website. Go there, and you'll be right up to date on everything cowboy, especially the FCA finals, which. Uh, was updated just earlier tonight, so you guys will have to check that out, too. Uh, thanks again, though, Dave, and we'll uh, catch up with you again later. Thank you, Ted. Thank you.